Hello? Hi, is Matthew there? I'm sorry? Is Matthew there? Um, what's this? Or who is this? Um, this is Roy from AT&T. We're, I'm just calling to let you know we're going to be changing your phone number. You're cha- I'm sorry, you're changing what? I'm changing your phone number. You're no, you're not, no longer going to have the 5,000 number. I've got, um, I've got a new number here I can give to you. It's going to be a completely different phone number. Hold on a second. Okay. Matt? AT&T is on the phone for you. Something about changing our phone number? Can they just do that? Because that's kind of inconvenient. Hello. Hello, Matthew. Hi. Hey, it's Roy. I just need to let you know we're changing your phone number. It's going to be effective. For when- what reason? Uh, it's a company. They want your number because the last four digits is 5,000. That's really easy for them to remember. Yeah, and I don't care. For their customers. I have this and- number. Well, yeah, but they outbid you on it. Yeah. Do you work for AT&T? Yeah, of course. What's your uh, user ID? A user ID? Why do you need that for? That's that's to log uh, into my computer. I also work for the company, too. Oh, okay. And I will be using your user ID to find out what is going on. Oh, that's an abuse of your powers there at AT&T. You can't do that. You know what? I don't care right now. Because it doesn't matter you're that you're an employee. You're taking away my phone number that is with everyone, everything else. Okay, well, as far as I'm concerned, you're just a customer. I'm not going to give you my UUID. <laughs> and I didn't even get to tell that lady to shut her kid the fuck up. Let's call right back. Again? Hey, you forgot to say goodbye. Um, it doesn't matter that you're hanging up on me, though. We're still going to change your number. Yeah, I know. I don't really care. You don't? Then why are you getting so upset? Because you just call Auto Blue from a toll-free number, and it's not even an AT&T number. Yeah, it is. And you're saying that right off the bat that I'm losing my home phone number and that not really giving even my wife a, a description right off the bat? What do you mean a description? I told her who I was, and I told her why I was calling. You don't have to be a dick about it. Like, is she lying to you? Did she tell you something different? Wait, 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 wait. What did you just tell me? What did you just call me? I, I said I think she's lying to you about what happened. Because all I did is no, I said, no, hey, no. this is that, right. What did you just call me? I forget. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you do forget. Yeah, I do forget. I agree. Okay, then. Then what did you just call me? I just told you I forget. I don't, it doesn't matter is what I'm saying. Is I think, yes, I, I think your wife's, a, I think your wife's I a liar. All these calls are monitored right now because that's what the company does. And what you just called me is on. Un- completely unprofessional okay well, i didn't claim to be mr professional here i'm just letting you know it's just a simple phone call i don't see why you have to get so upset and i'm just saying you're you li- didn't give my wife an explanation you, you didn't say oh another company i'll bid uh, uh, bought the number or whatnot and then you turn around and call me a dick she didn't ask for an e- she didn't ask for an explanation your wife's a liar Oh, my wife's a liar now. Yeah, because she didn't ask for an explanation. She just, uh, she's You're just like, I'm going to get give my her an explanation on why we're losing our number. Okay, I would have gotten to that if she would have just stayed on the phone. But she had to go get her husband. She can't handle because, anything outside of the kitchen because everything's under my name, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's why I asked for Matthew when I called. But she had to be all yeah, nosy. And then you turned around and called me a dick and tell my me my wife is a liar. Well, she is a liar because I asked for Matthew. That's the first thing I did. But that doesn't... Why are you tell, saying that to me? Why am I saying what? Why are you saying that I'm a dick and that my wife is a liar? Because it's true. But I don't understand why you didn't call me or tell me or tell my wife that our number was outbidded because... Outbidded? <laughs> and that you said, you just go... You're a dick, and that your wife's a liar, and now you're saying that you forgot what you called me and what you just said? Well, you, re- you reminded me. I called you a dick. Oh, really? Okay. Um, Are you recording this now? It sounds like I just went oh, to speakerphone. Oh, I am phone. now, because you just plainly lied to me. No, I didn't lie to you. I said I forgot. But you reminded me. Well, you, I called you a dick. You Thank you. for two seconds after you called me a dick. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Okay, so what's your user ID anyway? Well, why would I give that to a customer? Um, that, because that makes no you sense. actually have to if a customer asks you for that. 
You're part of customer representative for AT&T. You, if a customer asks for your user ID, you're supposed to give it to them. Not in our department. Oh, then you don't work for AT&T then. Where do you work at in AT&T? Then what's your user ID? What part of AT&T do you work at? I work for Uverse. Okay, see, that's completely different. You're an idiot. Oh, okay. So what was your name again? No, you already heard that. I'm not going to go over all this again. Oh, yeah, I do want to go over all this again. Why'd you hang up like, on me what then? Is user ID? If you want to go over everything, why'd you hang up earlier? Uh, do you know where I live? I have horrible cell service and home phone service. Okay. Well, we're not turning off your home phone service. We're just changing the number. It's not a big deal. It's just a phone number. Well, then what's the number, what's the number going to be? Tell, tell that bitch in the background to shut the fuck up. This is men talk here. Whoa, excuse me? This is a number that I have registered with my children's school. So what is... For my child knows the number. It is a measurement of safety. We got the home phone number so my kid can get a hold of us. She can memorize a new number. She's not stupid. And call me a B for no reason? No, we pay for this service. You guys gave us the number. My child has learned the number. She'll learn a new one. It's easy. Really? Why not? She can memorize a new number. It's just four digits. You get the same first three digits. Wow. Great. You know, this B might not want to have to go through the hours of making sure my child knows the number. Well, that, that's, that sounds, like you're, it sounds like you're a bad mother, then, if you don't want to give your kid your own phone number. So, we're going to end this on this. Tomorrow, I'm going to go to my second level. I'm going to give him this toll-free number I got a call from. Buzzwords. I'm going to show him. Scary. Let him listen, I'm going to let him listen to this info. All right. You will either give me your user ID right now, because as a customer, I am allowed to take that from you, or we are going to do this the hard way. Okay. Hey, make sure to tell your second level that this is just a prank call, and I'm not really with AT&T. And who are you with? I'm with nobody. I'm just a prank caller. I live in the neighborhood. Well, we'll find out. Okay. One way or another. Have a nice day. Tell tell your wife tell your wife she's not really a bitch, okay? 